up, dicks? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way. Today, we're gonna go over the uh, new Magic Box 2.0 and the Magic Box Lite. So I've had them for a little while, kind of got to go over them, see what I like about them. Um, this, is, uh, this is the new Magic Box 2.0 right here. And this here is the uh, Magic Box Lite. This thing's super small. Um, you can see it's got this, uh, this is the Magic Box 2.0. It's got a little uh, heat dispersing plate. Um, it still does get hot, but you know, I, I haven't had it be a problem with me. Here's the original Magic Box right here. And there's just, you know, there is holes on here to uh, release some of the heat, but this one's got this plate that is supposed to disperse it even better. Um, when I was testing it, I could hold it, you know, it was hot, but I mean, it was definitely cooler than the uh, original Magic Box. So this is a new thing that they come out right here, the Magic Box Lite. So, Today, the video is gonna be just, just on these two. I've got a video on this one. I'll put somewhere up here in this corner. Click it if you want, but I mean, you know, we're, we're moving to the new stuff right here. If you just happen to buy this, I hate it for you. You know, the world's mean and life ain't fair, but uh, it is what it is. I buy stuff all the time and I come out with a new one. It's just how it is. But uh, if all you give a shit about is the uh, discount code, I've got a 15% discount on this. Um, I'll leave a, a link in the video description, or you can, um, you can, when you go to check out, you can just type in Colts Way to save you 15%. So if that's all you care about, peace. But uh, if you want to see the differences and kind of the speed of it, it's supposed to have a faster processor. And, and, and with testing it and stuff, it, it is quite a bit snappier than the original one. Um, it's got some cool new features too that we'll go over. But uh, let's get up in the truck and I'll, I'll show you start up and see, you know, see, just see the difference, see if you like it or not. So let's roll. All right, I need to throw one more thing in there real quick before we get started. Um, I'm gonna do a, a giveaway for this Magic Box light right here. This thing's legit. I'm gonna do a giveaway for it. Um, to be entered in the, in the drawing, all you gotta do is like and comment. And you know, after 14 days that this video has been posted on the 14th day, so day 15, I'm gonna let it be up 14 full days. And on, you know, after 14 days is up, I'll do a drawing. And uh, whoever's name I draw, I'll comment under their comment. And then I'll get your address via email and I'll ship this to you free of charge. So I just wanna throw that in there as a thank y'all. Appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna start with the uh, the Magic Box 2.0 right now. It's it's like the original. You know, you can plug it in here, and then you plug it in your CarPlay port down here. Sorry about my truck; it's a mess. I mean, it's a truck. I use it. So when you plug it in, it's gonna have this little purple signal. We'll see how fast it is compared to the, to the other one. And I have used it, so I can tell the difference already. But I want y'all to see on camera as well. So it's loading up right now. Now it's up. The other one had some loud freaking thing. So from my testing, this one doesn't have that loud intro, which you could turn that off on the original one, but you know, we'll just kind of want you to see the speed of it and everything. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. All right, agree and accept. So right off the bat, the screen, it, sorry about the camera. My, my elbow hits a little bit sometimes when I'm, when I'm leaning up against this. So the screen, it, what's cool about this one is it's customizable. So I don't want this there, I can move it there. Kind of, kind of like the, uh, an iPhone home screen, you know, you, you just move stuff where you want to move it. Now, when I first got it, this spot, this spot, and this spot were blank. It was just settings and it had a little plus symbol right here. So what you do is you would just push, push that it was a blank plus. You just push that and then it would pop up all your apps and it's, you would just preset whatever one, you just pick which one you wanted to come down here and then you'd go to this spot over here, push that plus and all your apps will pop up and you push it. So it's kind of like a home screen of an iPhone. You just put what you want. This is your favorites down here. This is what I use the most. So that's why it's down here. Um, without doing a factory reset on this thing, you know, I'm not gonna be able to show you exactly how that works, but I mean, damn, it's a plus sign, plus sign, plus sign, push it and then pick what app you want to go down there. What I wanna do now is you see here where it's got Bluetooth, it's, it's hooked up Bluetooth to, to my phone right here, okay? And it, there's no Wi-Fi settings. So if you wanna be able to stream like live video, like if you like you can watch YouTube live or um, I've got YouTube TV, I can log into my YouTube TV and stream it live, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. You gotta have internet connection to do it. So. I've got a hotspot on my phone. So what I'll do here is I'll go to the settings and I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi on, okay? And I'm gonna to go to my phone and turn on my personal hotspot, which it's on now. So 
I'm gonna go back in here, go to settings, Wi-Fi, and it should pull up my phone in here in just a second. Okay, boom, Colt's phone. So we're gonna hook to my phone. It's now connected. Um, that was pretty dang fast, and you can see right here that it's um, connected to my hotspot. So that I do like. Um, it's a little bit faster connection-wise than than the um, original Magic Box. But you know, most most people that are gonna want this are are wanting it for wireless CarPlay, but a lot of people are wanting for, for the streaming service. So if you want to go to wireless CarPlay, what you'll do is you'll go over here and you see this little CarPlay icon, boom. So now it's gonna come up and I've already set it up earlier, so it's automatically connecting to my phone. So, you know, I went over how to set all this up in the original one, it's all the same. So now I'm on CarPlay. It used to be, I would have had to have a cord right here going into my USB port in my car to show CarPlay, but this allows me to do it wirelessly. So, you know, this is my, my CarPlay. You know, if I want to have Waze Maps, okay, say, um, say I want to listen to Spotify, you know, it's all here. You see how fast it's going. It's, it's quite a bit faster than the original model. Uh, my call log, you know, um, Zoom calls or Telegram. This is what I use for hunting right here. It, it gives me all the property lines for, for different things like that. Um, which I use all the time, and it tells me the property owners, and this ain't a plug for Onyx Maps, but I use it all the time. Just when I'm in the little woods, I can see where the property line is, if I'm getting close to it or not. Um, and you can see this thing's, it's, it's moving pretty, pretty fast. You know, the, the, it's, it's upgraded, and I really, I, I really do think it is better. Um, but, you know, say I'm on CarPlay, and I don't want to get, I don't want to use any of that, I want to go back to Ford Sync, so boom. Now, this is going to be, bringing you back to this, but this is not Ford Sync. So if you want to get back to the Ford Sync, you, you know, where you're not using CarPlay, you're not using the Magic Box, what you're going to go to is, uh, see where it says original car, push that, boom. Now you're on the Ford Sync. So, you know, some people like this to go to the radio or certain things differently. You can go to all that from the other, but you know, some people just prefer this to, to do certain things, which is fine. And I want to go back to CarPlay, boom. So this isn't CarPlay, you know, this is, it's, okay, let me reiterate that. So it says Apple CarPlay, but this actually isn't the CarPlay screen. This is the Magic Box screen. But like I said, if you want CarPlay, you'll just scroll over to go to CarPlay. I know it's confusing, but it, it, there's two different interfaces we're, we're using. So, you know, this is the CarPlay interface and the interface for, um, for the Magic Box is actually I don't know how to explain it, but damn, you know what I'm saying. It's it's simple. But so let's try to go to um I don't like I said, I haven't messed with this EQ and GPS test. I haven't messed with any of that. But you can, you know, on the Magic Box 2.0 right here, you can stream like Disney Plus, um, YouTube, YouTube TV, Netflix, um, Hulu, all that. On the Magic Box Light, you know, the small one right here, you can only stream um YouTube and Netflix. So if if you're wanting to use like uh Hulu, Disney Plus, um, YouTube TV, things like that. Well, this one isn't going to work for you. You're going to have to get the one I'm currently using, which is the Magic Box 2.0. Um, now, there's a everything, you know, user-wise is the same. Once you get in, you're going to figure out. Oh, this is easy as hell. You know, it's easy to use. Um, you can go. You can go. So, like, the um, Apple has the the iOS, which is the App Store. Um, Google has the Play Store. So if you want to go to the Play Store, you'll hit that and then it'll bring up the Google Play Store and you can type in whatever app you want. I use this auto agent a lot. It's it's for my truck to monitor gauges and stuff like that. Some people might not use that, but you know, it, say you want to get the, the weather app. So you'd go to the Play Store. All right, so we're in the Play Store. I'll type in uh, weather. I've already typed it previously, but I'll, you know, I ain't the best speller, but that's it. So I want to download, we'll say, I don't like the Weather Channel because it's trying to charge me for everything now. So we'll just, we'll just install Weatherbug. I just, I'm wanting to show you all how to download the app on the Play Store. So that's all this really is. And hopefully this doesn't take, take too long. I do have a pretty good signal on my phone. So if, it, if, it, if I see that it's going to take a little while to download, well, it ain't really that long. So it's, I'm actually pretty impressed because the original Magic Box didn't really, it wasn't really this fast. And I would have probably paused this part to um, 
and I would have just restarted it when it was done downloading, but I want you to see how fast this is going. So, and this is all hotspot off my phone. So, like I said, the, the original Magic Box, I would have paused this, but I'm doing it in real time just so you can see how fast it is. I know it's a little tedious, but I mean, get over it. You can double tap the screen on the right or the left side. If you double tap it, it'll just fast forward you 10 seconds. So this is probably gonna take a total of six double taps. You know, so double tap on out of here if you don't wanna watch this. But it downloaded it extremely fast. So we'll see how fast it, it's installing it. And I got my key on, I don't want my truck to turn off. Um, I don't want, I can't start it because it, it's, it'll be loud and y'all hear it, but it's hot as hell outside today, I know that. But shouldn't be too much longer. It, it, you know, if it is taking a little bit longer, I might pause it, but like I said, I want I want full transparency and I want you to see um, the speed of this thing. So boom, it, it's done. So you can either press open here or, you know, you touch the screen, this thing pops up, you push it, and oh, we wanna go home, okay? So now we've downloaded the weather app to the um the magic box so we're going to go over here and we're going to find it weather bug boom let's open it up let me get this up out of the way so we just downloaded this app on here it wasn't here before so i'm just going to greet all this stuff next next obtaining location i guess it's got to figure out where i'm at so boom so one one major flaw with um the ford sync is there's no weather you know, at least on mine, I have a 2018 F-250. There's no like, you know, you used to could see like the weather and back in the day, and then they all of a sudden they made it to where you had to like pay for all the weather things. So it's 91 degrees where I'm at. I'm sitting in my truck, there's no air conditioning. So hit the like button, subscribe. If not, I don't really give a shit either, but it'd be nice. So I don't know what all it's gonna do because it's the first time I've been in here. I'm doing it in real time. All right, so we're inside, you know, the weather app, you know, or weather bug. I mean, you can press hourly, 10 day or the maps. You see my location, that's where I'm from. Well, I guess don't stalk me, but you know, now it's gonna show ads because I'm not on the paid version, but it is what it is. I just wanted to show you that you can use, you know, weather bug, or if you like the weather channel, you can download that as well. So I've, I've downloaded the weather bug there. Um, I can also like, I have, I can download the OnX maps on this as well. Now I have it on my CarPlay, so I don't need to, but you know, the one thing I don't really think you can do is download weather on CarPlay. So I've tried before and there might be like one weather app, but none of them work. So the way to get around that is to have the Magic Box and download the weather apps on the Magic Box. You can go in here and then push maps up there. It'll, you'll be able to see the, uh, the radar and everything else where you can't do that on CarPlay. So that's pretty cool. Um, there is, let me see if I can kind of bend this down some. Well, I can't really but I don't know if this will come in screen. Okay, so so on here, one cool thing about this is you can actually, okay, so slow down, Colt. Okay, let me, let me get over this. So on, on the original Magic Box, you could download movies on like a USB stick and, you know, stick it in there and you could stream, you know, if you had all your movies, you could watch them on your screen with this. Let me uh, get out of here a little bit, sorry. So you could watch movies with a USB stick. Now on this new one, th there is no USB stick, but what it is, it's a micro SD slot. So like I use a little micro SD card in my GoPro. So all I would have to do is all the movies that I have on here, I just transfer them to my micro SD card. And then I put my micro SD card in this. And I, I believe I haven't done it yet, but it's the same as the other one. You'd go to media. And then when you go to media, all the videos that you have on your card w would pop up. So I don't have any anything inserted in, in this right now, so obviously it's gonna stay zero. It won't show nothing, but if I transfer all these movies onto a micro uh, SD card, stick that card in here, then I can watch movies. So And for that, you don't have to have internet, you know? You're just using, downloading stuff you already have. Um, also, what's cool about this is, so one's a micro SD card. Let me see here, yeah, okay. Okay, micro SD card right here, and the other one is for a SIM card. So at work, I have a little personal hotspot because um, I'm always in the field that my laptop hooks to that gives me internet. So it's basically like my phone, 
having a personal hotspot, but it's a little jet pack. We call it a jet pack is what I call it. I don't, I don't know what you call it, but it's a jet pack that gives you Wi-Fi wherever, as long as you have phone service. So you can take the, the uh, SIM card out of your jet pack and put it in this. And then now this will be your jet pack. So you can get your, you can get, you can, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to link up to your phone for a personal hotspot or you don't have to use the, um, the uh, jet pack itself. You can just put the SIM card in here and this becomes your jet pack, if that makes sense to you. So I thought that was a pretty cool upgrade as well. Um, also on, on the original Magic Box, this one right here, like if you were wanting to have people listen to music, you could like say I wanted to hook my phone up and my wife was on the passenger seat. She wanted to hook her phone up. You'd have to disconnect and do all that and go back and hook her phone up and then vice versa. Well, with the new Magic Box 2.0, you can have multiple Bluetooth devices at the same time, which that was a major upgrade to me as well. You see, I'm holding this thing right now and it's it's warm, but it's not like extremely hot. Now, it, you know, it is it is it is rather warm. I mean, I wouldn't want to hold it forever, but it is a lot cooler than this used to be but you know the heat never really bothers me I, lot, I see a lot of people complain about the heat but I mean I throw this thing in this little compartment down here and shut the door and what do I care um, but that's some of the things I just thought were pretty cool you know about the upgraded one was obviously you can see the speed for one it's, it's quite a bit faster it's, it's less buggy um, you can have the sim card so if you want to make this your hotspot and I do like the fact that they, you know, that they went away from this because this is big and bulky. And it, like when I would stick it in, you know, in this one, it would just stick out like it was in the way all the time, you know. But with this one, the cards in there is protected. You can't even see it, you know, and all your media is inside and over this little dustproof cover. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to, I'm trying to think of anything else that I might forget. Um, Everything is the same, you know, like any, any apps you want, you're just going to go download, you know, it's, it's simple. Um, a lot of people always ask about like the radio. Oh, how do I get to the factory radio? Well, you can do it of two ways. You can, you, you can um, go here to original car and then, you know, audio and, and do what you want like that. Okay. Or you can go back into your car play. Okay. Now, if you were in your Ford Sync, I just showed you how to do that. Now, if you're back on this and you want to get to music, uh, a fast thing you can do is just press media. And you see up here, it'll go to my AM settings, FM settings, all that. It'll go to uh, Sirius here. And then you can listen to it like that. I'm going to turn it down so it doesn't copyright me. But now the other thing would be if, if you want to use uh, Bluetooth music. So, boom, I've got this playing on my Spotify right here. I'm going to pause it. Okay. And I'll, I'll press play, and then it should. The audio on my iPhone was turned almost all the way down. That is why you couldn't hear the radio very much. If you turn the volume up on your iPhone, then you will be able to turn the volume up on your radio all the way, and it will be normal. So that's, uh, that's Luke Combs right there, growing up and getting old. I don't want to play it too long because it'll copyright me, but so that's how you get to music on there, which I, I thought that was pretty cool. It was easy. Um, I'm just wondering if there's some other things. I know this thing is, is there's some settings where you can customize like um, uh, layout settings. Okay, so I'm on layout two right now. So let's go to layout one and we'll go back to home screen and it should look all different. Okay, so now instead of three big blocks, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five, and you can, you know, say I want this one over here. It's the same thing. You can, you can move them however you want. You know, I want this one over here, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's pretty cool. But all in all, you know, the upgrades, it's, it's definitely smoother. You know, I like the, the customization factor of it. You know, these were all blank. I, I told you how to do that. Um, Supercast, it's like a, mirror you know it that's the same as the original one did that as well um you got your google and and, and to be honest it, where, where i was telling you about the uh the sd card earlier you know to, or the um the card to watch movies that you'd put a, a micro sd card in and i was telling you it, it was going to be under media now where the hell is that now uh, where the hell is media it, i was saying it might be there it, it could be under files so I don't know because I don't have I don't have the micro SD card in there. I have everything on this, and I can't remember when I used this last. 
um because i'm always just streaming netflix and i use this on a couple road trips for some movies but i haven't used it in a while so i don't remember if it was um i don't remember if it was under files or media but it's under one of them and you can figure it out because i know you're not that stupid so anyway that's all you know i know that you can change like themes as well let me see here boom 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 i know there's a I don't know what that is, uh, HD. Oh, no way. I don't have, son, is that a little HDMI? I don't know. I, I don't know what HDMI cinema is, but now I'm curious. You have to figure out what that is. I don't know, but uh, wallpaper, let's see. So I guess I'm using this one currently. Let's, let's go to this orange one. So it changes the background. Pretty cool. I like that one, I think. Um, but it's definitely more more customizable. So it, it, if my car had a hotspot, I could hook hook this up to the Magic Box up to my hotspot. But my car doesn't have a hotspot. So I always use my phone or my jetpack. So I usually just use my phone. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that uh, mobile data. The sim, OK, the SIM card is not detected. This is what I was talking about earlier about uh, your jetpack, you can put your jetpack SIM card in there. I don't have it in there, so it's not going to be available. Um, but let me pause this real quick, and if I can think of anything else, we'll go over it. If not, I'm going to stick the uh, the Magic Box light in there. And, and to be honest, I, I really like I really like this thing, um, and it's quite a bit cheaper. And it, it you know most people are probably just going to want to watch YouTube or Netflix, and this does that. So I thought that was pretty cool, um, and it's it's a lot more affordable, you know but and it's even more affordable with my discount code so holla at your boy so let's uh i'm gonna unplug this one and we're gonna put the magic box light in there and, and the form factor of this i don't know it just feels cool i like playing with it it's like kind of rigid but soft i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say but i just i like the way it feels and how small it is it's like literally takes up no room but let's throw this in there and y'all can experience what this is like as well all right, so I've got the uh, Magic Box 2.0 unplugged, and now we're gonna we're gonna check this bad boy out. So I'm gonna plug it in. This I've reset all the factory settings so you can see what it's like at at the very first. So I'm plugging it in. There is I don't see I looked and I didn't see any light on this one. So I mean it's plugged in. And it'll come up here when it's ready. Boom. That that was so Apple CarPlay continue. So I'm gonna agree. Sweet. And this is it's pretty fast as well. So it's CarPlay, Android Auto, YouTube, and Netflix. So agree and accept. So I mean I, I really think this this one's pretty cool. Uh, I've been I've been wanting to I've been wanting to come out with something like this for a while, but so let's see here. Set up the Bluetooth, uh, magic box light, match, paired device available devices, history. Uh, I don't have none of that, so I'm going to go home. So basically, if you want to watch YouTube or Netflix, it's going to be the same, and it's going to ask you for what you're going to, well, slow down, Colt, you jackass. It's going to say YouTube and Netflix, but you got to sign in, and you got to sign up to the Wi-Fi. So we're going to go to settings. Just like before, you got to have Wi-Fi to use all that. So let me turn on my hotspot on my phone in real time personal hotspots on i'm gonna turn it off and i'm gonna turn it back on real quick so um we're gonna hook the wi-fi up on and my phone should pop up there it is colt's phone so uh yeah that's my password one two three four five six seven eight because i'm simple so one two three four five six seven eight done so saved, connecting, connected. Simple as that. Now, if you're wanting to go back, if you're wanting to use YouTube or Netflix, you know, when you get on here, you gotta have the internet. Like if you, if, if you don't have a hotspot on your phone or anything like that, you're not gonna be able to use the internet. So I just wanna make that clear. And this one, this one does not have a spot for a SIM card. So you can't use this as a hotspot, but what it does has is, is that micro SD slot. So you can download movies or whatever you want, pictures or whatever on a micro SD card, throw that sucker in there, and then you can watch that without the internet. So let's go to Colt's way real quick. C 
O L T S way boom there i am so we're pulling up and this sucker's pretty fast too y'all go ahead and hit that sub button i'm gonna throw that shameless plug in there but this is a video i did the other day on an old truck i'm fixing up i'm gonna watch this ad so i can get my sweet moolah you know what i'm saying i'm just kidding i'm gonna skip it for you i'll skip it oh my bad i didn't mean for that to come back up let's skip that ad see all that money i just lost out on but so here it is i mean this is freaking awesome you, you can do this while you're driving or whatever i wonder if there's a yeah, full screen right there here we go what up dick <laughs> <laughs> anyway that is freaking awesome like this this thing is is fast too and it's it's quite a bit i'm telling you it's it's quite a bit faster than this and it, they're a lot less not that this was buggy or whatever but this is the first gen there's always updates you know upgrades so this is a, that's how you watch YouTube. Like I said, you gotta have internet. Uh, let's go back home. It'd be the same with Netflix, but I'm sure when you get to Netflix, it's gonna log in there and then it's gonna ask you for like, we cannot detect a network connection. Yeah, you can. Unless my, unless my uh, whatchamacallit went off. Boom. That's what I thought. So it's gonna ask for your email and all that to log in. And now with Netflix's new wokeness, they're not gonna let you share passwords anymore. But anyway, you're gonna have to get started and sign in right there. I'm not gonna do that because I did that in, in the previous videos. Everybody knows how to sign in. So this is all the same, you know, you push this, it's gonna bring you to your CarPlay, uh, Bluetooth pin code to use wireless CarPlay Android Auto, please connect Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna to go to Bluetooth and I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find this uh, magic box light down there. I'm gonna click it, okay. And it's waiting, it's waiting, it's waiting, but it's fast. It's, it's, you know, it's just doing its thing. And I'm pretty sure that after this, because this is the first time I've hooked this up, I've reset the factory settings. So now, every time I get on, I'm not gonna have to do all that. I'm not gonna have to put the code in and the parrot and all that. So CarPlay is exactly the same. You've got Waze, you've got, you know, Spotify. I've got my Onyx Maps where I can, see what hunting land I'm on that's what I use it for um, but there's your car play now when you press car it's going to take you to the magic box interface so there it is all right let's see what's over this way okay sweet little thing so if you so if you want to get back to so here's your car play you want to get back to the magic box interface you press car and you want to get back to Ford sync you press this so a lot of people want to know how to do that. And so, oh, I don't know how to get back to my factory screen. Boom, Ford Sync right here. Oh, I want to go back to the CarPlay. So, but that's not Car, it's, uh, I know it's confusing. Like you push CarPlay on here, it takes you to the Magic Box interface. But when you get in here, you push CarPlay, it'll take you to the wireless CarPlay. I know it's confusing, but that's just how it is. Um, you got your Bluetooth music, your settings. Uh, this is your file browser when you put if you put the little uh, micro SD card in here, that's when the file browser is going to come up. Same Bluetooth phone, you know. So if you want to download your phone book, history, all that, it's all it's all there for you. So what does this do? Let's see. Okay. I don't know what that does, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, okay. So this is the previous screens I've been on. So I want to, so if I push it, will it go back away? Okay. So say I was, I was on Netflix a while ago, instead of having to go, um, Instead of having to go back, back, back to get back to the home screen, and then get back to net to Netflix, you can just press that uh you can just press that little oh hush it Siri. You can just push that little uh back button to get back to the car. So you can just push this button. It's like a on a Mac or a Windows computer where you push it and you've got all your screens that are up and available. You can just pick which one you want. So there they are. That's pretty cool. I'll go back to YouTube. Shameless plug come off so I just have to hook my Wi-Fi my personal hotspot back on or back up to it I just ain't gonna do it because it is what it is but it, it, it's all straightforward if you got an Android Auto I don't know why you would but there you go same thing um, file browser like I said is for the uh, memory card but all in all like literally they, they're definitely upgrades um, definitely upgrades and I probably for almost everybody this one is going to be the one that they're going to want to get just because 
you know, it's a lot cheaper and it'll still stream YouTube and Netflix. But, you know, it doesn't have, it. you can't, like if you have YouTube TV, you can't stream YouTube TV on here. You can't stream Disney Plus. You can't stream Hulu. Um, you know, there is some limitations to it. But if, if all you want is Netflix and YouTube and wireless CarPlay, we'll holler at you little boy right here. If you want to have all the streaming services available, being able to customize it, um, also being able to use this as a hotspot, put your SIM card in, you know, this is the one that you're going to want to go with. Um, I hate taking plastic off stuff. I left the plastic on my screen on my truck for like a year and a half, but this will probably be on here forever too. As you can see, my original Magic Box still has the plastic on it. I use, I use, I use this thing every day for like, since I did the video eight, nine, ten months ago. It might have been over a year ago, but I just hate taking the plastic off. I don't know why I'm talking about plastic. I just am. But, uh... I don't know if y'all got any other questions, you know, just put them in the comments and I'll help you as best I can. Um, but everything's straightforward. Like I thought it was pretty cool that the, uh, the user interface is, is basically the same as all as the original magic box. If you, if you use used this before, when you open these up, it's going to be a breeze. I just went over some simple things just so y'all could see, but I wanted y'all to see the speed difference and that, that it's not laggy. It's not buggy. Um, and that it does work. I, you know, I streamed a video on both of them for you. So I just wanted y'all to see that. Now, this one's cool for the weather, I was saying. You know, you're not, you're not going to be able to download any other third-party weather apps or anything else on the Magic Box Lite. But if you're interested in, in having the weather on a touch and you want to see the radar on your screen, well, then you need this one. Um, that's basically about it. Um, like I said, if, if, if you want to purchase it, you know, I'll put a link in the video description or when you go to check out, there'll be like a little discount, whatever code thing, type in Coltsway, save you 15%. But, uh, appreciate the hell out of y'all watching this video. If you got any questions, any comments, you know, put them down there, comment it. And if it's something I can figure out or help you with, I damn sure will. So appreciate the hell out of y'all watching till next time. God bless. Peace.